Okay, you guys, RoboCop follows the story of Alex J. Murphy, a rookie cop from, I guess, this, well, he's not really a rookie, but he got transported from Metro South to Detroit, basically. So, basically, they call him a rookie there, because, you know, he's a new guy on their group, even though he's, like, a veteran cop. Anyway, they get a call. Him and um, Ann Lewis, played by Nancy Allen, meet up in the parking lot, and just, like, that they have an instant connection and she just like he has that charm about him i think that made her like kind of fall head over heels on him a little bit not like in love yet but like it, it's it's it was forming you know what i'm saying and so they get a call um they go and check it out of course and they run to these group of people okay and they have a little shootout they wind up going to this um, warehouse where they try to call for backup. Backup is not available. So they go in by themselves to try and take them on. Not a good idea because Alex Murphy is slain in the process, basically. And is used for this program called the RoboCop program. Developed by um, Dick. Rich Dick? I'm just going to call him Dick. Okay. Oh, no, Bob. Bob, that's right. Bob Morton. <laughs> so anyway, of course the head of the CEO of that company is pissed off about this because his his pro product, basically Ed 209, backfired in a big way the day before. So he's not happy about that shit. <laughs> uh, it's played by Ryan, by Brian, Ryan Cox. Awesome. Awesome casting. <laughs> and so within a few weeks, he is transformed from a half man and half robot. Unbeknownst to them, though, Alex Murphy is still alive inside this creation they have. So not only is he actual, uh, still half human, he still has the emotions. He still has all this stuff of being a human inside of a robotic body, which is awesome. Okay. And when Anne confronts him on this, he kind of backs off for a minute. But then eventually they come together and stuff like that. Cause they're gonna have to, cause uh. What's his name? Clarence ain't bullshitting. <laughs> I love Clarence Bogger. He was probably the best, not the best villain, but the second best villain for Robocop. My main villain would have been Kane, because Kane was just fucking badass. Drug dealer turned robot. Come on. Could, wouldn't go down without a fight. Man, shit. So, yeah. Uh, Clarence and his boys, the one that laughs like the Joker. Ha! <laughs> Fucking love that dude. <laughs> oh man, and his boys try to take on RoboCop and um, Lewis by them. Uh, Lewis, of course, and you have this big, nice, epic gun fight and stuff like that. And it's a fight to the death between RoboCop and C Clarence, of course. And you know, on all, all days and the ends, all in the day's work. As I'm trying to fucking say, God damn, I'm tongue tied today. <laughs> But, um, yeah, great action, great story. Uh, it's gritty as all hell, but I love that gritty setting that Robocop has uh, taken. Um, I do love the direction of this film. It's kind of odd, but it's supposed to be I like that on, the per on purpose. And I do believe Robocop is ahead of his time because it came out in the year 1987. My year, of course. Yeah, so me and Robocop are the same age. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, not bad to start off a movie for a movie um, film. At first, when I saw this when I was a kid, I didn't know there were two other sequels out. As a matter of fact, we saw, me and my uncles and my brother went to go see RoboCop 3 in theaters in 1993. I, don't rem I remember seeing it, but I don't remember um, it being any good until I got the DVDs and then the Blu-rays. But that's for Veils for another time. But all around, RoboCop... Cop on its own is a good film. And then you got the, the big battle between Robocop and Ed 209, of course. Not a bad fight scene. Of course, you know, Ed 209 owns uh, just one slight problem. He can't go downstairs. Because he has, like, his feet are shaped like this. Like, it's like claws. And it's like, oh, man. That's one feature he can't do. And then when he falls down the stairs, you kind of feel sorry for the damn thing. Because he can't get up. <laughs> I'm like, poor Ed 209. Hopefully in the reboot, they'll give him feet, feet, not like, like, feet claws or whatever the hell they were. That was just bullshit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, RoboCop for me gets an A. It's a great, great science fiction film. I loved it. 
ahead of his time, but you know what? It was the best of his time. So, uh, let me know what y'all think about RoboCop. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Um, had I even seen it? And of, out of all three, which one is your favorite? Let me know down below, because it will be a while before I get the RoboCop 2. Probably next month or, the, or even April. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. We're going to have some bad boys 1 and 2 today, so stay tuned.